All right, I'll take all of that. Okay. 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 Sell it all. Morning. I saw this inflatable, so I wanted to take a look at it because I've sold some of these in the past. This one um, isn't tied to any kind of name brand or anything. It's just uh, like a random snow globe. I think it's made by Jimmy. Jimmy, uh, G-E-M-M-Y. -M they do pretty good. And I've sold like a Tigger one for good money. They were asking 20 bucks for this and it was clearly used. I, I looked up sold prices and they were only selling for like 25 or 30 bucks uh, used. So just no money really uh, to be made on this one, so I passed. Oh, I think I have three. Hey, 22. Thank you, sir. Okay. German short hair pointer right now. Oh. Uh, but she still got the energy. Yeah, I'm really hoping that she just gets massively fat and just becomes Chill. lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Yeah? Oh, yeah. This guy had a lot of Funko Pops, and I've bought a ton of Funko Pops in the past and done really well selling them, so I thought I would take a look at some of these. He had prices on each one, so anytime I see a big table of Funko Pops like this, if there's none that I recognize, I'll just kind of look up prices on each one to see where they're at, if they're kind of close to uh, sold comps, and unfortunately, this guy was really high. He was 5 to $10 higher than... Uh, oh, all the eBay I... sold comps, so just kind of left these alone. What are like to buy them all, but, <laughs> but when you do, no money for me to be here. Just... Morning. Got ten dollars worth here. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Have a good day. Yep. I spotted some squishmallows at the sale. This one is Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas, and even though it was used, it seemed pretty clean. They were asking ten dollars, which probably isn't a bad price. I know these things aren't cheap, and they're super collectible, and uh, especially Nightmare Before Christmas stuff has a really big following. So I thought these might have some value, but I looked them up and they were selling for about ten dollars. <laughs> Just hanging. <laughs> How much are these? That's, in that hand, they're five dollars. Okay. okay. And then that one is twenty. Twenty. How about the uh, Hank Aaron? Five. Five. Yep. And the Sandy Kofax? Five. All right, I'll take all of that. Okay. 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 Sell it all. Oh, we hope so. Yeah. Are you selling okay. the reds piece back there? Nope, that's mine. That one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take that in the house. Oh yeah, you'll get a lot of people trying oh, to buy it. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. What color is it? Oh, you want the Sandy Kofax? <laughs> How much for the Indian? Um, the Indian, I will take it. Okay. <laughs> cool. I love this stuff. I, I even have his plate. I think he's his plate. Is this your puzzle or hers? Hers. That's hers. 
You said this too, right? Yeah, okay, thank you. So like, am I losing? You've got pennants inside your puzzle. <gasps> I didn't know that. Yeah, these are cool. Okay. <laughs> I hope he knows that. Are you wanting to sell those too? Um, you know what? I probably should ask him. I have no. I don't even know if he knows they're in there. Because he's probably gonna say just take it. Oh. Yeah, I'd be interested in yeah. just see if he wants to yeah. sell it or not. Um, so, um, I'm like, where's my phone? I think he wanted, you can have that, all of it. Sounds good to you. Sure, I'll do I, that. I don't. Alright, I'll take this too. Do you have any other red stuff you haven't brought out yet? No, we had the picture and then they, 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 get in some the of the guys have already been here. Okay. Some of the <laughs> baseball stuff. Desperados, that is so cool. It's wild. I didn't realize when you look at it, and one of these things, when you look, let's see, like this one, uh -huh. so the eyes, it looks like the eyes move. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. What are you asking on that? Um, a dollar's fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy that. How much is the, um, uh, old stagecoach and the horses and stuff? Um, what do you, I don't know. It's dusty. Very dirty. Dusty. You know what, and I think I may have some containers that go to this, but, um, I don't know. Three, four dollars is good to me. Sure, yeah, I'll buy that. Let me make sure I What's up guys? It is Sunday morning on Friday. I went to a handful of sales, got some good stuff. I got it all pulled out. I'm going to show you what I found. First sale today, I got some Cincinnati Reds and Media Guides, 2012 and 2014. We went out to Arizona both of these years for spring training and had an awesome time. Some super nostalgic for those rosters. So I went ahead and picked those up. Also got this Gapper bobblehead for $12. This is not the original. They made a Gapper bobblehead back in like 2003. And um, it was only like 5000 that they made. That one's worth about $100. This one they made, I think, a couple years ago. So not as valuable, but it is cool. I don't have a gapper, so I went ahead and picked that up. And one sale, I got this little L.L. Bean crossbody bag for $5. New with the tags. It only sells for like $17 free shipping. So not a good buy as far as a flip goes, but we'll probably just give it to the one of the kids in our family. Same sale, I bought this NFL Super 70s laser disc. New in the plastic. Could not find the same one on eBay. Might have a little value. Honestly, not sure. Just thought it was pretty cool, so I grabbed it. Everything else I bought that day was all from the same sale. It was a ton of stuff. I think my camera died like halfway through because I was at that sale for so long. But I got this puzzle right here, Derek Sanderson, with a couple uh, like little prints here. This is a stamp signature. It's not a real autograph. I'm not sure the puzzle has much value because there's a lot of water damage and you know, puzzles just generally don't sell for much, but there were a couple of pennants in here. Uh, this one's in pretty darn good shape. The fact that it's made in Canada, I think is pretty cool. This one's in bad shape, got a lot of water damage. I could not find any kind of sold listings on these. They're probably not super valuable. I'll try to list them maybe around, well, I'll probably just list the good one, maybe around 40 bucks or best offer or something like that and see what happens. Got this Desperado glass at that sale too. I think this was a dollar, maybe $2. Once again, could not find any kind of like soul comps on eBay, but just a really neat looking glass. Got this music box there for a few bucks. This is made by Rouge. It's the Yellow Rose of Texas is the song that it plays. I've never seen that brand before, but it looked interesting. And I paid, I think a couple dollars and it's selling for about 30 bucks. I got this really cool Ideal Toys Roy Rogers stagecoach with all of the little like boxes and stuff there's an extra cowboy over here that set is selling for about 35 on ebay and then i got some awesome signs and artwork so i got this cool sandy koufax metal sign i think that was five dollars there was one that was twenty dollars i'm pretty sure it's this framed one right here um all-star benefit game this has ty cobb walter johnson the cy young and a bunch of other great players too i just thought this was a really really awesome piece um it's obviously not 100 years old i'm not sure when the print was made so i might take it out of the frame and um, see if there's a year on it somewhere also got this hank aaron framed piece for five bucks i'm almost definitely keeping this it's just a really awesome picture and i think it's from the early 60s if i had to guess i'm not 100 percent sure but he does look pretty young in that picture uh, this Johnny Bench one is just great. He's arguing with the umpire. I've not seen this picture, but it's framed, matted, ready to go to hang on my wall. So that was pretty awesome. Got this Shelby Mustang GT350 poster. Just a great looking poster. Unfortunately, I think they glued it to construction paper. Yeah, so here's the construction paper. It looks like they glued it right to it, which is really unfortunate. Probably almost totally kills the value. There might be a little bit of value left. 
I paid five bucks. If it was in good condition, I don't know. It could be a $30, $40, $50 dollar poster. Vintage car posters can bring good money. But this one, the way it is, I might just have to put it in the shop sale and try to get my money back. I recently bought a ton of sports cards. I spent $1,400. Made a video for that on my sports card channel, CP Sports Cards. If you guys want to watch that, I'll put a link down in the description. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.